Now that we have set up our merchant so that we can open it up and see what's inside his inventory, we will have to add some items to it. So to do that, we'll have to jump to the uh, vendor inventory script and in here we'll create a new function. I'm just gonna call it private void um, give item. So give item basically um, gives an item to the merchant or to the vendor. Um, and this give item function takes in a string called item name. So when we call this give item from the start function, we will add um, an item to the vendor. So basically we can go to the start function here and say, this vendor needs a health potion. So we can say give item health potion. And here it's very important that you write this exactly the same way as you have done in the XML document. So this one has the same name as the item from the XML document. So um, let's start creating the new item. So we write game object temporary equals instantiate instantiate um, inventory manager dot instance dot item object see we can't reach it here so we'll have to go and make it public let's go to our inventory manager here and there's something called item object here and right now it's still it's actually public so i shouldn't be able to read yes should be able to read so let's see um there we go because i wrote instantiate should write instance of course item object sorry about that so now we get the item object we create a new item object here and then we make um then we add component to that new temporary object we add an item script to it just as we do the other places where we create a new object and then we say item script new item equals temporary dot get component item script so what we're doing is that we are creating a new object we're instantiating a new object in our game we um, add a script component to it item script component to it and we create a reference to that item script component here so that we can check and uh, check for it in the next state statements so if our inventory manager that instance that item container that uh, weapon now let's take consumables um, that exists so if the item name we write up here which is health potion if that in exists inside the item container called consumables well then we are going to we're just going to check if it exists by writing x every time we find an item in the consumables we are calling it x and we're checking if x the item name equals item name we just wrote in so this if statement looks through every single item inside consumables every time we find an item we call it x we check if x item name is equal to the item name that we gave in up here for example health potion and if that's the case well then we say new item dot item equals um new uh, equals inventory manager dot instance dot item container dot consumables dot find and then we find the item again here x dot item name equals item name there we go so first we check if it exists if it exists well then we set the item equal to that item we just found or oh, we just checked it existed let's try to save this and let's see now we should give him a potion here give item we add it yes and then we are going to say if not here down here if our new item isn't null so if we found something then we're going to add the item by using add item new item then we're going to add it if it exists so if we, we manage to find the potion then it's not null and then we add it to the merchant or vendors inventory and down here we'll have to destroy the new item destroy temporary because we don't need it anymore that temporary 
let's save this jump into unity run the game and then we have a error let's figure out what that is so to find the error i'll have to debug this real quick um we have the give item function here and i have a feeling that the error has something to do with the item container so i'm just going to debug it by setting a breakpoint here um, attaching it to unity so that it will break when i run the program so now i i'll be able to inspect the different items here to see what's not set or what's wrong here so let's try to run this run the game then it should break in the code there we go and now i can inspect the different items you can see i can mouse over stuff and see if it's set and what's null and everything and let's see inventory manager is fine and consumables here it is here's the problem consumables count is zero which means that consumables contains zero items so that's why we can't find an item inside consumables so this means that we are running this give item function before we have added all the items to the game by loading them from the xml file so we'll have to go to the inventory manager yeah here inventory manager and you can see this function here start actually loads everything in from the xml document into our game and because it runs in start well then there's a chance that the start from um the vendor inventory is going to run before um, our inventory managers start function and that's like we, we're not we can't decide which start runs first it's just unity that builds and compiles the the project and then it just decides which one it needs to run first so to make sure that this functionality here is running before the vendor give item function, we can change the inventory manager start function to awake. Because awake is always called before start, which means that this functionality here for loading the items is called before the inventory um, vendor uh, give item. Let's try to save this and jump back into Unity, stop playing the game and replay it. And now you can see we didn't get an error, so let's check if the potion is here now. I can go in here, no problems, and open it up. And I have a potion here. So you can see we just need to fix the item tooltip so that it's not it doesn't go behind this, but else everything actually works fine. So to fix the order or to fix the tooltip from going behind the vendor inventory, just select the vendor inventory here in your hierarchy and move it up on top of the tooltip. And if you play the game again, then you'll notice that the tooltip doesn't go behind the inventory anymore. Okay. So we will also have to add the other um, the other items. So let's give it a try here. See, right now we're checking if it exists in um, in consumables, but we will also have to check if it exists in weapons and we'll also have to check if it exists in um, what is called the the uh, equipment so copy this one paste it here and paste it here change consumables with uh, weapons change consumables here with equipment that's what it was called and then take new item here and place it down here and then again replace item container with weapons it play replace uh, not, not item container sorry it replace, replace consumables with weapons and replace consumables with equipment down here so now everything should be working we should be able to add other items let's try to give some other items here I remember there was something called awesome sword I think like this maybe and what else did we have let's try to take a look inside our xml document resources and let's try to open this one up to check yeah we have uh, awesome sword and we have awesome x what else do we have we have a headpiece here strong helmet let's try to add that one um vendor inventory there we go so now there should be a health potion an awesome sword and a helmet from this window we can be we can buy let's try to run it 
play the game and see if we misspelled something. Everything looks fine. Open up and we have a potion, we have a sword and we have a helmet now um, for this inventory. I can see that it's, it's moved a little around. Let's see. Have the window rows five. Let's put two rows on it. And let's see where it's placed. I had a crash before, so I had to reset this. So just put it underneath here, under the buttons. There we go. Let's try one more time. Now we should just place it out there on the side. And it is, and I have everything. So now you can see it goes a little over the edge because it's too close to the edge, but can always move it around. It still doesn't really work as a vendor. Right now it, it seems like a chest with some items in that you can pick up. Because as you can see, if I click anywhere here, it will just uh, drop the items on the ground somewhere here behind the chest. And I'll be able to pick them up and uh, use them no matter what. Um, and I can also equip stuff from, uh, from the vendor here. And that's not um, intended at all. We will need to add some gold to the player. So he has some gold. Um, that you can use to buy these different items here. So right now there's not a lot of vendor functionality in, in it. Uh, right now we only have a chest with preset items. But in the next video we are going to have a look at how we can add prices to these items and we can restrict the player from buying them when he doesn't have enough, um, enough um, gold to buy it.